go to college. My mother went to high school in Priceland. Education was important to her. My dad had to quit school to go to work, as did his older brother. And as a result of that, he would never let me cut classes to go hunting or fishing or anything. My advisor, Dr. Ben Farmer, I was his aide in this class, and he told me that I had high aptitude scores in the arts and that I should take an elective. I took a first watercolor class from a woman named Effie Conklin, and really a good teacher. She told me in no uncertain terms that I did have some talent, and she wanted to work with me. And I remember Paul Hapke, who I was taking a painting class from, and there were some of us advanced students in there, and he would invite us over to his house for cake and coffee, and we would talk art. And so it was a very personal side that I carried on when I was teaching. And what amazed me so much is that they could teach me how to make art or how to think the right way through education. I was sent to Korea. And I taught. I taught history, I taught math, I taught geography to the military guys. I decided I wanted to teach, but I didn't know how. So that's why I came back to Mankato State. My wife and I were married in August 6, 1960. She had a job teaching at a high school. I had a job in a junior high. I taught there for four years, two years, three years at a high school, and then came back and ran the rural art program. I had 42 elementary schools, part-time secretary, and a $1,500 budget. It was a pretty daunting task. I had so many schools and so little money, so I designed this thing called an Art Idea Box. It was like an old wooden Coca-Cola box that carried glass bottles but it was full of things that could be used directly by elementary students without their teacher being around. So I got invited by the woman who is the chair of the Alaska State Arts Council to present that, and as a result of that, they wanted to install them into the small villages where they had no art program, but they're interested in the cultural arts. And so the art idea boxes grew, and they call them the apple boxes, they were so popular, we started the Artists in the Schools program, and we got enough funding to send artists around the state to the small communities to do a residency there. I was on uh, the State Arts Council at a lot of shows, at a lot of competitions, had a piece accepted to the Smithsonian, around the gallery. My wife Darlene and I, we have two little daughters, grew up and went to college, and then both of them went on to get their law degree. One here at McGeorge in Sacramento and the other one at Berkeley. And relative to my outside interests, I'm an outdoor guy. I grew up as a Boy Scout in Minnesota. I did a lot of hunting and fishing there. My mom and dad bought me a bowl when I was like in kindergarten, and I think I've had one ever since. Been all, all around the West doing a lot of bowl hunting, but mainly Alaska. I've written a bunch of articles for almost all the National Bowling Magazine. I always think it should have adventure in it. If it doesn't have adventure, it should go create something, even if it's a little adventure. All right. Congratulations, Keith Apple. Achievement Award honoree is Catherine Roberts. Catherine has always been intrigued by the idea of 